Yeah, I love that rooster. The timing's always perfect. I'm like ready to talk and there goes the rooster. Anyways, hey, my name is John Soskovich and I am a farmer in Western Connecticut. I have a nice small farm brewery here and we make wonderful, tasty, delicious things. Now, on YouTube, I have almost 100,000 subscribers as the making of this video uh, and over 600 videos for you guys to learn from my mistakes, my failures, uh, my successes, and everything that has gone right and wrong for me over the past, I don't know, eight years now. <laughs> And uh, today we're going to cover some basics because there's new people for the channel and I realized I never made a video about what is a chicken tractor. Now I'm going to jump on the back of the camera and kind of narrate through uh, what a chicken tractor is, what it's used for, uh, why would you even raise chickens this way, and then I have this one all set up with birds in it, and right next to it I have a few without any of the dressings, so you can kind of see the frame and the structure and get a good idea for how it's built, um, if you may not be able to tell with it all set up as it is. So a chicken tractor by definition is a structure that is mobile and shifts and moves around the pasture that you can raise chickens in. You can see my 30 dirty birds in here. Uh, there's like 27 chickens in here. These are started pullets that are going to be egg layers, but they're not ready to lay eggs yet. Um, I just started them in here because they didn't need as much space. They didn't need nesting boxes yet because no eggs and uh, get some going in the chicken tractor. Now, normally I use these just for broiler chickens because broiler chickens behave differently than egg layers uh, but we can get into that in another video this is just about the chicken tractor so i made a door so that i can walk in and walk, work with my birds on a day-to-day -day basis it's very important to me to get in there assess the health of the birds see how everyone's doing make sure they're eating drinking uh, and leaving a kind of nice even manure spread uh, over the whole chicken tractor plus it's just easier to catch them and put them in when you're putting them in when they're going out it's easier to walk in and out when you're going to catch them for either moving them to a larger coop or for their last day for processing it's nice to have the door um, inside there I got a feeder that's connected to the ceiling that ridge line there you see that string and that feeder moves with the chicken tractor. My waterer, I decided to leave separate for now, but that's easy enough to hang and suspend. And that way, when I pick up and move this thing, the whole, every, all the infrastructure of the feeder, the waterer, the birds, everything moves forward on a day-to-day -day basis. So this mobile shelter with no floor that you can raise chickens in, I have an electric wire around the outside for predators with warning signs for customers. Uh, and then on the back here, the way I have it set up, there's a wheel with an axle that holds that chicken tractor about three inches off the ground. You see my hand here? I can, if I'm pressing down onto the dirt, I got some space. These birds are big enough where they're not gonna come out through that space. But with those wheels on and with that rope around the front, we're gonna walk back around the front here. I can grab my rope and I have a piece of hose around the rope to protect my hands and some knots to make it adjustable. I can pick that up and then raise the front end up just a little bit and the whole chicken tractor stays on level with the grass and just skims across the top of the grass creating a visual barrier so that the birds don't want to escape. They stay in it because I'm keeping them safe from predators uh, and just keeping them organized so it's easier for me to raise them. And uh, yeah, the whole show moves along. And then this is yesterday's patch. You can see their manure, not too heavy. They beat down the grass, they've eaten it up a little bit. And as we go back in time, uh, depending on how fast my camera shutter uh, moves, this was like perhaps a hotter day or a day where they were into scratching a lot more. Uh, you can see the feeder line in the middle where they didn't walk as much. And we just follow the squares back and uh, once you get to the point where, you know, maybe this grass is burnt out a little bit more, um, it starts to come back as we go back in time. And what I've been doing here is feeding this uh, lawn area, garden bed area. It was a garden bed. Uh, I took it out of production and let it go fallow for a little bit. Now I'm raising chickens on it uh, to add some nutrients back into the soil before I decide what I want to plant there next. 
That right there was my rooster, who is kind of prepubescent right now, figuring out what it is to be a man, uh, going after one of the ladies. Just like, he's like, I think I got, I got an urge right now, and uh, he's chasing down somebody who caught his eye. But I got one rooster in here, um, the hens aren't beat up, he's just doing his rooster thing. You guys kind of caught a candid moment here when I'm explaining the chicken tractor. So that's it. I mean, it's, uh, it's harder to make a, a video, comprehensive video about a chicken tractor because it really is just a box with no floor that chickens are raised on that you move every single day so that it spreads their manure lo load out and it gives the chickens a fresh salad bar every morning. Now here's some without any of the trappings. You can see it's just uh, three quarter uh, or I've moved to one half inch conduit uh, bent into this A-frame. Uh, just a box on the bottom that adds a lot of rigidity, uh, stability. These things are good in high winds. There is the uh, few case studies throughout the last almost decade where one or two of them have moved a little bit in the wind, but in general they hold up uh, to some pretty strong torrential, torrential weather that I've had here. Now like I said before, this is just one chicken tractor. I have 24 of these things. At one point in time I raised 2400 birds and during that season I had three different batches of eight uh, in different spots around my farm. I have very wet property and I can't run them down just one field. I move the birds and the chicken tractors around as I need to as the land dries out, as I have little better areas of pasture so I don't run over the same area too many times. But the chicken tractor uh, allows for me to raise a certain number of birds on pasture, getting all the health benefits of a pastured poultry. Um, it's easy enough to move and uh, just that's that's the system, that's the, that's the video. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments section below or go to farmmarketingsolutions.com forward slash, or there's no forward slash, it's just the webpage, you go to the bottom and you can ask me a question. And then uh, for those of you interested, by the end of this video, I'm gonna put a shameless plug in here. I created stress-free chicken tractor plans. These are the plans to build these chicken tractors so that you can start raising uh, meat birds or egg birds. It's more tailored towards broilers than egg layers, uh, but you can adapt them to egg layers. Um, but yeah, these plans are on farmmarketingsolutions.com forward slash store. You can find them on Amazon if you want them to get to you a little faster. Um, we'll have a PDF and the print version, and that is as far as this plug is going to go for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the beginner chicken tractor series this week. It's just something I wanted to go back to basics and cover some things that I haven't necessarily covered very specifically. Uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and until next time, I'll see you out in the field. Thank mm -hmm. you.